<coughs> okay, what's up guys? Go to 3 here. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. <coughs> now, if you click on the title, you must be wanting to know, what are these tips and tricks? And this, <coughs> well, first off, let's go address something. The reason why I haven't been talking in my videos is because this headphone that I'm using right now is my PS4 mic, which is actually broken. You can still hear me, but I can't hear anything that's coming from the game, like, like all the beeping that's coming from like when you switch characters, I can't hear that. So really what I wanted to do, I just wanted to um, make a tips and tricks videos for maybe beginners, maybe learners, just, I might do more of this. By the way, we're gonna get into lower device, you know, good old fashioned first ever CAC, well, second ever CAC technically. But what we are going to do is show off some hidden, well, some things that some noob players don't know and honest, this just came from me watching a YouTube video I saw and dude was playing a male earthling only did the square combo honest to god I got a little I, I don't know how to say this but I did get say a little bit annoyed because like I'm, no one uses just the square combo with earthlings but like it, it honest to god like, just annoyed me a little bit so as we make this video as we wait for this thing to load I can't hear no music I can't hear no nothing no none of that can't hear an absolute I cannot hear a single there's really is there really a tournament going on I haven't played this game today like this is the first time I'm getting on today and it's like it is 1128 p.m. what 1128 p.m. yeah what tournament is this masked Saiyan Bardock <laughs> Literally, it's just saying, hey, if you play Bardock, come here. Literally, everyone that plays Bardock will go there, but the people who play Bardock, like me, I'm... As much as, you know, as much as you guys know that I love World Tournament... I don't really like World Tournament that much. It's 50-50, really. The point system is weird. Greedy. But, uh, actually, crap. Mm. Let's... Oh, uh, this is already a fail for an intro. Let's, uh, equip, say... Equip a couple moves and show off like say hidden hidden abilities with say some skills because there are like some skills that have like like hidden things that they don't tell us about so let's throw them on uh this is just my all right don't question why density power par is there i just had to make that first thumbnail if you guys remember usually this is just this is probably gonna be like my new raid my new raid fight so raid uh, raid fight build this might be all right if you are new, if you if you've been like a long running Xenoverse player, like say two two years, one year, maybe at least like five months, you could click off this video. You don't need to you don't need to really see. But if you are a new player, like just got the game type stuff, we will. Sh I guess I'll try to show off the best of my ability, the um like hidden things. Mm, all right, so let's just work up. Let's just work up some pretty good. Pretty good abilities. Hold on. That's my that's my phone notification tone. I'm gonna have to turn that off for this because I do not really want many many distractions while I'm doing this video, you know. So let's just get on some pretty, not bad, but you know, pretty helpful, helpful moves. Just a quick little, quick little sum of them. Let's see. Hmm. So, look, I would pro if I was, you know, I might just, you know, like say skip the beginning because. I don't know, maybe you don't want to watch the beginning of me looking through things or something stupid like that. Honest to God, if you don't want to watch this video, you don't have to. Like I said before, I can't hear anything that's coming from the mic, so I don't know what the sound is. Like, not really sound, but like, what is it? Like, what are you got? Like, what you guys are hearing? So I'm just gonna turn down, turn off all the sound for the video. I'll play some background music on my phone or something. Seeing how 
honestly, like, we are gonna show off some things with, like, some skills here and there, but mostly, like, not only the skills, like, also things with characters. Like, characters that, say, people mm, don't really know abilities with. Or not. I honestly, I don't know what to call this. Dun, 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 dun. Um... And there are some things that I know off of memory, by the way, so I could, you know, just say that, uh, just in case. Honest to God, I don't, look, this is the first, I don't, this might be like the first time I've ever done a tips and tricks and probably the last time I'll ever do a tips and tricks type. All right, let's talk about this trick, uh, not trick, tip, whatever. This move, Kepler's Gigantic Breaker, this used to be a strike attack. I don't know why the hell they changed it to a key blaze, key base, key, key blast attack. Like, the move is good as a strike move. Let Kefla have a strike move, because now her entire move set is just all key based. This used to be strike, which was so good, because then if it was still a strike, I could run this on my male earthling and give him a nice buff. Give him like a better, like more variety for follow ups of a move set. But since it is no longer one, I can't run Gigantic Breaker on him. Not that I ever did, but like now I can't. Alright, what, what else could we run? What else could we run? Uh oh. Last move will be. Where is it? The Spirit Boost. Yep. Alright, Ultimates. For ultimates, we will run. I guess we'll. And then we'll I, can, I think I might have something to show off with Bray Sword Attack. And maybe Kava's. Excellent full course, we'll save that for later. Have a transformation just because I like to have transformation. And evasive that has a secret ability. Hmm, what can we do? I don't know what to do. I don't know anymore. I don't know, I guess we'll do... <laughs> I have an entire strike base move set. Alright, that doesn't matter though. We just need... I don't even think I will do that tournament for because I've already done enough tournaments throughout the past couple of videos that I've been posting. Then... Like, li literally three days in a row, the first tournament was Kid Buu, the second one was Mira, and Greetings. then the third one was Toa, which you guys know I dominated in. I don't main Toa, I just learned, I just had to like learn like a quick set of her combos beforehand. Like, just learn what her stamina break was, and that was mostly it. We're gonna need like, say, a specific, specific type fighter. Like, to fight against me. Um, let us... I guess I'll do we'll this, this in my GT Goku. Remember, remember, like I said, if you've already know, if you already know, okay. Transform. Nice unison transformation. I always like to do this, like hit them, hit them with their in unison, because it's actually hard to perfectly time the like both of them to transform. You need to, you need to press the um transformation button and the switch button at like the exact same time, only to like just to get them to do like the in, like to do it at the same exact time. I don't know if you could call this a tip, really, for photo mode, but yeah, a little something, you know. It was something to make you enjoy your photo mode experience. Yep, there we go. As you see, Goku and Lord of Ice went to, well powered up. All right, first move. Let's talk about Spirit Boost. This move right here is like no one runs it for some reason. The move is good. Like besides it taking no key, and I guess I, don't, I guess it does AOE. It doesn't actually hurt the opponent. Like it doesn't, yeah, it does, as you see, it can't do damage, but it is actually useful for many things. 
most presumably like say key blast attacks. And if not specifically key blast, then I'd say like attacks that like involve say some type of um like blast pa blast pack or like divine retribution. That is a strike based attack, but it does shoot out a key blast if you use a first input. So let's show off. Goku can use Bend and Kamehameha, as you see here. But I need to make it bend so I can get longer range. Spirit Boost. This move can cancel out any key blast, no matter what. I think it can also cancel out ultimates if I've tried. It can cancel out ultimates. And we'll just key moves in general. Like. Like, hold on, let me show you. Doesn't matter how slow you are, as soon as you press the move. You're just going to immediately, immediately like pull the barrier out. Like no matter how slow you are, as long as you press Spirit Boost, it will just stop the key boss entirely. Let's try it out on Spirit Bomb, because I've never, like Spirit Bomb like packs a punch, plus the move like goes through beams and such. So Spirit Bomb would probably be like a great test factor to see what it's going to do to um to this. So well, let's let Goku throw it. Okay, Spirit Bomb. All right, what's it called? Spirit Bomb doesn't. Spirit Bomb somewhat goes through the barrier, but you can also like mash the barrier like this. So then you can like not keep it up, but like. All right, let's do Goku Spirit Bomb again. We'll see the damage. As you see that I literally did like 7,000, like around probably 7,000 damage. But with Spirit Boost, it like cut the damage in half. So it basically like nullifies the first impact of Spirit Bomb because Spirit Bomb is like a multi-hitting attack plus it just lingers there for a little bit. Uh, let's switch this to Ultimate 1 make it perfect Kamehameha. As you see, if he does that... All right, I have tried it before, like with with it, yeah, with ultimates, and it actually can like, as you see, like the per the solar coming out just stopped right there, and also it's unblockable, so I'm gonna get hit by that anytime, any day, anytime, anywhere. Potato, potato, eat my sandwich. As you see, if he does it, and I do spirit boost. I literally just stop the ultimate ent entirely. Like what ultimate? And like if you pull up the barrier. Or I don't know what to call it. I just call this flex, because it's flexing. Look, look, he shoots the beam, but I don't take any damage from it. Well, I mean, I do. Depends on, like, how fast or slow you are when you shoot it. I mean, I shoot, not shoot it. When you pull off the barrier, because... Say, if I just do it like here, it somewhat stops it, but not fully. Maybe you gotta, like, do it. Look, this is... I'm, I'm such a noob at this. So watch him do it again, and I pull it out right when it comes close. Alright, that was a bad, bad timing thing. Aim it at me, Kakarot-sama. Kakarot-sama. Come on, Kakarot-sama. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Flex, flex, flex on haters. As you see, the move literally just destroys it. Like, the move is, honest to god, just underestimated because no one runs the move. Spirit Boost, I run it on my custom Tien, and I know no one else will. Alright, let's see if this will... Goku, you gotta move. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Let's move good old Kakarot somewhere right here. If, if it won't go through the damn wall. Okay, I've never really tried it with, say, Spirit Bomb, because this move is gonna, like, just... Oof. Spirit Bomb is like entirely different from all the other ultimates. This thing lingers for all right. Let's see how long it like how much damage it'll do if I to do the raw dog ultimate. That which, oh my god, with the super soul does so much damage. Good to know. Spirit Bomb is underestimated. No one runs it. All right, now let's try with Spirit Boost. Same exact thing. Most of the Spirit Bomb is a. You can't cancel this thing out, for God. For the love of God, you cannot. For the love of God, you cannot cancel out a spirit bomb. Did you do a dragon fish? I gotta recover as much health as I can. Alright, let's just like mash this. I'm going to die. Why does he do the swing kick? What are you swing kicking for? 
questions for later. All right, next move, aura slide. Actually, I, uh, yeah, um, well, first off, we'll show off this quick thing with evil rolling. Besides this move being, why are, why are my eggs so good damage? The move is very good. Don't get me wrong, it's great for comboing, especially if you, oh wait, that's why, because this thing is a key-based move. All right, the move is amazing. The move does good damage, especially when my strike base is like 4,000 something damage. That's amazing to hear. Plus, it's unblockable. So, yeah, you took... Yeah. Uh, see, my boy's blocking. When you hit him with the evil whirlwind, move is, move is unblockable. Also, if you are in the middle of blocking... Come at me, boy. Hold block. You can... It's like um the opposite of what's it called. What sells... Alright, it also gives you like monster invincibility. It didn't even let me do it. Alright, well, I'm gonna go. Goku, stop. Goku, stop. Goku, stop being me. So, since I can't block. Let's just wait. Also, like, gives you so much invincibility, so let's uh, put this up against Spirit Bone. That's a perfect example to show how much, like, invincibility friends we get. As Kakarot over here does the bomb. He does the big old biggie bomb bomb. If I do this, as you see, I didn't get hit by the first blast. Like, the first hit of it. The invincibility on this move is, like, insane. It does... It's good for invincibility. Like, one time I was getting hit by a move. I did the block, then did the evil whirlwind. Of course, I just have to, like, maybe use one or two bars of stamina. Made me do less... It did take a lot, I actually... Never mind. Let's, let's, let's not have that as an example. I'm sorry. Hmm. But yes, the move is unblockable, so catch anyone off guard if they try to block it and or perfect block it. You know how all these dudes out here be trying to perfect block every single thing that they see. Alright, and then let's switch over to Aura Slide. This move, spectacular, used to be good for cheesing. I don't know if they still cheese in certain movies. Besides it literally being a stamina break for Freezer. Do they take that thing off? You can't stamina break with it anymore? And of course, I'm just equipped to my triangle. I can't do a heavy burn. Stab, and then I'm trying to do the standard version, but yeah, as you see, it can it can like be used as a standard break for free for anyone who doesn't have standard breaks. And I'm not putting the mechians in there because the mechians actually do have standard breaks. It's their press square four times. As you see, can be used as a standard break, still good for stunning. But there's like different inputs. If you like, if you just press the move like just like just how I just did, just press it, just press the triangle twice, does that. If you hold forward and do it, it does like a thrust, you know, like a nice little quick thrust. Quick could be used as a follow up. There's also the back hit, which in which can which can be made into a four hit combo. So besides you doing this. You can do the you can do the, the thrust and then slash. You can also do different inputs like slash, thrust, and then the final slash. Nice good impact to make. Same thing with the back hit. You could do the uh, thrust slash, final slash, flash. I I ugh, I'm getting confused with my own words. All right, so let's do one. Oh wait. I'm just, my character is very small, that's the only problem. Alright, also the back hit sends them in the, um, tail spin animation. What's next? Alright, so the last move we have here besides Impulse Slash, Bird Sword, and Hyper Movement, it's... Wrong move. Alright, also the range on this move is... Pretty... It's not bad. It's like mid-range. It's like, could be used. It's not as a follow-up, but like, say... I'd say mm, maybe Saiyans could hit it with the square triangle, but if not that, I know definitely Earthlings can hit it because move is so great for damage. Cross arm dive. This move, besides you having a super, oh jeez, even, even uh, it's like 1,000. All right, even though like I am uh, key based, it does do some pretty all right damage for the for the you know dive. But keep in mind they're standing up, like standing up when you do this. All right, now turn off Goku's recovery. Goku, 
as you see he has no recovery he mines his health his health goes down to the o in his name yeah like right to the g right to the o but if i do this and then do it again we gotta make this quick and then as you can see the move actually does do it does more damage if you hit them like when they're laying on the ground now for me when i saw this i thought it was a i thought it was a callback to the original dragon ball because in the original show when nam used um spoilers i guess the first world tournament that goku's ever entered nam used the cross arm dive on goku which temporarily made him pass out but at the same time, Goku was also laying on the floor when Nam did it. And when he did that, it, he just like chopped him like right in between his neck, hitting his um, vital spots and making him pass out for a little bit. I think that's what it was. Besides that, the move also, like, it, it freaking knocked out Goku for a good minute. As you see, it does more damage when they're laying on the ground, better than standing up. I run this on my male earthlings cross arm dive build slash xeno type build. I honestly don't know what to call it. All right, next thing we will show off is impulse slash. Good, it's a good ultimate. Good strike based ultimate. Also does the whooping tracks. So say if I was running, if you run away, like there's like a thing with some moves that if you try to run away from it, it'll just like teleport to wherever the hell you're going or where you actually are moving. Like same. With the impulse slash, sadly, I do not have instant rise on Goku or my Freezer race here, so I can't show it off. But I, if I switch to my shell at CAC, then I will. But impulse slash, well, yeah, just tips. I, I'm, I'm rethinking something. Sorry. All right, as you see, the move hits does great. Dip. Even for being a strike ultimate on a key based build that's lower in strike by five, it does great damage. And it whoops to wherever your opponent is and or going. But the key blast could like if it, the key blast hit a wall, then the key blast are just gonna get destroyed. It's like say, get it my it's like if I just throw them down, it's like those key blasts, but just way stronger. Sad part about this move though is that if they're laying on the ground, they sorry what? Hmm? I may be thinking of this the wrong way. Cause if, from last I remember, if if you are laying, oh wait, he actually he wasn't fully on the ground. All right, watch Goku as he drops. They must have fixed that. They must have fixed that. They must have. 1,000%. Because before, if you used to be laying on the ground when you got hit by Impulse impulse Slash, that's it. You're, you're not going to get hit by the move. All right, let's try that again. I must be delusional. I must be. I must be. What? As you, yeah, as you just saw, he warped with the second hit and literally just stayed right here. And the move, also the key balls, they sort of track. Yo, who's using consecutive energy blast? Alright. A better look at this I can probably do a cross and dive. One, and then... Okay, they fixed that. They fixed that, because before, like... If you just use the move, like... Alright, let's actually get a spur combo for uh, Street races. And slam. Well, he's on the ground. Yeah, they fixed that because before, if you use the move, you would never get hit by it if he was on the ground. Like before, you have to be like really weird. All right. Actually, let's let's do the square triangle combo so we can just make sure that like I get a good look at this. Yeah, they did fix that. All right, never mind. So impulse slash is off the thing. But Brave Sword Attack, this move, besides it being good if you walk off and you just like surprise your opponent. It is good, but at the same time it's bad. So, the, besides the move being unblockable, we'll get into Hyper Movement right after it. They, um, they buffed the move to now it's unblockable, so... Put Goku, shoot him. Now, you know, every time he comes close he gets in the guarding stand. Hit him with the sword. If I, I might, alright, also I'm thinking about making Link from Legend of Zelda as one of my anime characters, making Link give him this move, say like some type of Master Sword type slash, I don't know, but as you see, use the move, it puts him in this type of pose, like Goku's not about to, 
Like Goku's not about to block. Like every single character, if you use this move, they'll jump into like a like if they're just sitting there, they'll jump into like a sense where like their arms are slowly going up, trying to do something. But then actually, like when they get hit by it, the move, as you see, is unblockable. And yeah. All right, but. The sad part about this move is that, say, alright, if I do this, and then do it, Goku can get right back on the music. Doesn't matter what. Like, let me show for myself. Alright. Trying to, like, do it. I can't do it fast enough. Alright, also any anything that resolves in you trying it just slows down time in general. So, uh, bring it here. Alright, now that I swapped into Goku, as soon as I... You can literally just get back up. Like, One, two... Is not last that, that short usually. One, two... One, two, three. Alright, so. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Like about four seconds. Yeah, this again. The move literally just like. It, the, the, the time stop part. That part lets you be able to get up. Like when he hits you with the time stop thing, you can't move at all. But if you're laying on the ground, it automatically like lets you just get up and start jumping away or whatever. Seeing how that's probably gonna be your only reasonable explanation to do in that situation. Alright, let's switch to switch to different CACs because this second part will not be about a move in particular, but about comboing. So let's show it off. Alright, here shall it. Um Probably best to do it with I will surpass you and I'll do it in my own way. There is one thing that no one does about him that should that is a very like valuable part in Xenoverse that should be dealt with. And the character that everyone knows the combos about Time to make the donuts or Git, because Goku fused with hit is my hit. Name is Git. Git good. And if I get my trio, it's get get fit and sit. Because the the, the three hit brothers. Alright, but one Do not thing. underestimate the power of I a can't Saiyan. hear what he's saying at all. So I'm going to turn off the music for the game and just turn off hey. everything. Let me just go to YouTube, put on a, something, some good music. Prob uh, let's see, fight. Let's do some Fighter Z themes. Seeing how I'm always playing Fighter Z themes. What's it called? Fighter. Uh, the Fighter Z. I think it's the Cell theme. That's probably the one I'm looking for. Pretty sure it is. Dragon Ball Legends ads. Okay, put in the comments how many, how many of you guys have gotten Dragon Ball Legends ads? I've been getting them a lot recently. Not the right theme, but this still work. So, let's do his entire square. Uh, Vegeta Blue Evolution square combo. That's his entire square combo, which could, I think, lead into a stamina break, maybe. Yes, it can. 
Can it lead into a heavy break? Yeah, alright, so probably online you could do it for a heavy break. So let's. Alright, this is Vegeta's triangle combo, which no one uses. Alright, now, keep this in mind. We're going to do the three triangle. One, two, three, oh, that. See, no one ever, no one ever does use this, but like the. Like, people would do this. Wrong combo, this is... Alright. Like, people just stop right there. Like, that's where, like, where, that's where people would stop for his combo. Like, people, and then they would just immediately do this. Like, immediately do a final flash or something. People don't use that combo correctly. Because if you didn't know, you do this and then do this. Press triangle again, he has like a, like, a key buff barrage. Which no one else ever uses for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, now triangle square combo. Also final blow. Such a good move. Especially with this guy. Man's an absolute mad lad with final blow. Also can be used as a stamina break. Only for Vegeta Blue Evolution that is. Because no one else has the luxury that our boy Vegeta Blue Evolution does. Okay. Let's show it off. If you do this, all right, I messed up. If you do it like this, you can mix up the square triangle combo into that. Let's do square triangle again. Now let's do the square into square triangle. And then you could just mix it up, you know? But yeah, as we was talking with like, like I said earlier in the beginning of the video, Dude I watched played only did the square combo with a male earthling, which ticked me off seeing I was like just thinking dude do the mix up square triangle, do tri do triple triangle into the square thing. Honest to god it really annoyed me. And I didn't even get to like fully show off what I wanted to do there. Actually Andrew 21 is going to be another character that I want that I want to sort of show. Let's, what's Nappa's Fighter Z theme? Not the theme I'm looking for. Let's just put on Gohan's, Gohan's Anger. All right. So as I said, this is the this is the male Earthling square combo. And if you guys watch me, you know I never do this combo. Like, there's nothing wrong with the combo. Like, I would do it if I felt like it, but my brain is too advanced because my my thing would usually go for this. And then that, that is the, that is the triangle square combo, but in the beginning, it's the first like square in, it's like the first input of the square combo. And then I, and then like, look at one, two, three, four, five, six, that's six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then triangle, square, then triangle. As you see, you can mix up the square combo into the square triangle combo. Now, the way I do this is by looking at the movements of the character, since I've memorized the movements of practically every single character like like as you see the part when he puts his knee up that's when you're already prepared to do the triangle and then as you see triangle square combo does the double flash kick I guess and then does the thrust punch which also I recommend doing this combo out of all the all the male earthling combos because it's a guaranteed stamina break combo and not only that it's also a guaranteed heavy break if it would hit but you can't like be floating around like that because who else has a combo like who else has a combo like this with their with their square combo three triangle combo if you guessed hit from xenoverse three you're right as you see he has like a rip like like this thrust punch right here it's like a rib punch that leaves you in like the stun animation And then boom, and then you could just do boom. Like do anything you want there, because right there you could also do. As you see, it still says six hits. 
Oh yeah, also this thing does it with all friends. Like into seven hits. That's because the combo is if it if it like like if I'm doing this five hits. If it says six hits, then that means I like it's a combo. That means like it's going to hit even if it's online or not. Well, depends on how really close you are to the guy. But look at do this. It immediately links up. I'm like using my Mel Earthling here, so it's a bit of a struggle. You, I think from, also if you hit the opponent from behind, like let's turn around 21. As you see, I'm punching her from behind. It might just be because she has stamina, honestly, because remember when it just said seven hits in the combo. But at the same time, I maybe broke her stamina. Because I know that she wasn't like in the, the rolling animation. So let's just break the. Also, if someone's in this animation, like in this like floating type animation, they also recover stamina, I think I'd say twice as fast. Let's put stamina on normal and just waste all of 21s. Also, exclusive evasive. Alright, so as you see, recovering this much stamina in the air. But let's do square triangle and then start swinging on her. As you see, she's recovering way more stamina than she was before. That's only because if you're in this like if you're in this like type of position while getting hit. You recover stamina way, way faster. Now, let's show it off again. She she recovers stamina really slow. Do square triangle. Now she's like in the float in like the falling animation. Like as you see, she's literally her stamina's coming back in. I'd say about five, ten seconds to get a max a max amount of stamina. I don't give a damn about Disney Plus. But yeah, as you just saw, it showed how like she recovers stamina way, way quicker in this type of animation. That's what like whenever you see me guys, like whenever you see I have like a good amount of stamina, but I'm not like fighting the opponent, anything like that, left or right, is because I'm recovering my stamina. Also, as you see, I'd say it's about as fast as when you recover stamina on the ground. Cause like if you're in the air, as you see, it takes a bit longer to recover stamina. But if you're on the ground, my stamina is like coming back at a very quick rate. Now I wouldn't say as fast as it is in the air cause that like you recover stamina in literally no time. Like as you can see she already has like a full full amount of stamina. That like if you're standing in the air it like you need to just like find like say a ground area like what's it called the the, the space area the stratosphere. If you go like to one of the meteorites, because there's no ground there, if you stand on the meteorite and try to like stay your balance on the meteorite, you will recover stamina like you're actually standing on the ground. There's also like some moves that work this way. Like what's it called? Um Majin Vegeta's uh what's it called? Atomic Blast. That move gets way stronger compared to if you're on the ground or in the air, the move like just deals monster damage if you're on the ground compared to the air. Especially if you know how to perfectly time the move. Let's move on to 21. There is, there's only one thing that I really want to show off about her. Is this. Oh, wrong. So, everyone else's grabs. Well, not everyone else's, but like half the roster's grabs are like, say, do this. Or Buhan's is like, like how Buhan has the double stretchy arms. Other characters like have this grab. Some other characters like, say, like Namekians would sh literally like stretch their arm out and pull, like grab you and eat you. 21 has this, has the beam grab, which I also think has more range than a normal grab. This is a, a exclusive 21 grab, which looks like, looks like a whip now that I look at it. Yeah, as you see, it's an exclusive 21 Android 21 grab, but, all right, let's just do the triangle combo. You could also do this. Mix it up <coughs> with the knock away. Like, let's show off the earthlings. And I do this, right? Doesn't link up. But I guess since 21 like has like a type of beam situation, her grab like links up into that. So you could say, oh, I want to get off a grab finish. Like all you disgusting people out there that love to get grab finishes, you disgust me if you like to do that. She can literally just do this. And then boink and then do this of course it's 
good quick bread and butter if you have no key but if you're doing a full triangle combo you should probably at least have like one bar of key from that yeah you should have like one like a quick one bar of key wait a minute wait a minute hold on oh yeah today's my birthday because now it's April 16 happy birthday to me I'll probably record a video I did I just notice something when 21 like does the grab she has all right let's give her no key on, on God no all right as you see she has no key when I did the grab I just noticed that he 21 like got a bar of key back yeah yo that's cool her grab gives her key guess it does make sense cuz Mm, what's it called like in fighters whenever she would eat like eat uh, like say eat a clone or Use like she'll eat a clone use a um Like she, she would regain HP in the game and like yeah, she would regain HP if you do her level 3 her ground level 3 I swear to god my phone is gonna get blown up Like her ground level 3 she eats the eats the character and then gets health back in this game I don't think she probably could get health back but as you see it's good cuz when she takes the bite she gets a whole bar of key back an entire bar of key that's a that's very good for like say 21 mains out there I don't main 21 but you know all right let's see if she recovers any health I don't think she would but yeah she doesn't recover health all right let's try stam fam cuz as we saw we as we thought we can recover key but we don't know about stamina stamina famina Okay, so she can only recover key with her grab. That's pretty balanced then. Because, say if you did break stamina, you could just go for a grab. Then, like, dash in. Alright, speaking of, actually, uh, on that topic. Uh, ground the grabs. Certain, some characters, the certain characters, like, are able to ground grab. What I mean by that? I mean, like, well, probably half the roster. If someone's, like, laying on the floor, you could grab them. Like watch, if we do this, 21 gets dragged across the ground for a little. But you gotta be like quick with it. If you're quick enough with it, you could catch them while they're on the floor. All right, just get on the ground. As you see, she's laying down. I can somehow land that. Like, oop, she's laying on the floor. All right, let's. The move is, it's honestly weird, it's weird how to time it. Yeah, as you see, she was laying on the ground, and then I grabbed her, which shouldn't really work, seeing how, if you're laying on the floor. But this is good to know to fight against people that say, like, have super armor after you go for a first, <coughs> going, go for the first grab. Let's try to see if it works for 21's broken grab. Also, let's see if there's, like, a corner combo for it. Because 21's grab. Also, she, speak, she sometimes speaks Japanese when you do it, so it's weird. Alright. Let's do this. As you see, yep. Nom, nom, nom. Beams you right off the ground. And since my character gets up too fast, she can't do it into like a combo thing. But yeah, 21's grab, well, everyone's grab really can link up into that. Mm. Next. Mm. Uh, next thing we'll move into. Let's say, what will we do? Since I don't have a male margin, I'll just speak this out. Male margins. As you see, I don't have any male margins here. I see. I only have a female margin. Magma Shadow Boy. Nice, beautiful female. Male Majin's, if the less, alright, so say I have max stamina with my female Majin. Is anyone like a super soul that like, oh, okay, let's run Scarlet Rose because he does have a super soul that makes you take less damage. Uh, who, I guess I'll fight Fu. <laughs> So as we wait for this, showing off my boy Super Saiyan, this is the Super Saiyan Blue preset of Scarlet Rose, so don't get it twisted why I look like why I'm matching with gray and blue. Gray and blue, silver and blue, either one. Alright, so his, oh wait, no, wrong Super Soul.
Then that means it's my new Namekian build that has it. Yeah, this heat I have to... It's this heat I have to match it. I'm pretty sure one of my CSCs have it. It was this build. There we go, the Broly build. Well, not really Broly build, just the... Just any... Any build type build. I don't know what to call it. Mmm. Alright. I just messed up again. But we alright, so the characters for that we're <coughs> might something must be in my throat. I need to get a drink of water or some some crap like that. Um Go back to this. Alright, so this build gets stronger if you use an ultimate. Well the the super soul activates if you use an ultimate on me. And this is my Zudoya build. So We're gonna have to press the restart the button right after this. Hmm. All right, so let's just talk about this real quick. Every character has different damage. Oh yeah, I was, speaking of which, the Mechans have like the Android 21 type grab. They have that 50, 55 millimeter range for a grab. Yo, this would make it like for a good thumbnail, you know? Thumbnail opportunity. Them thumbnail. Hold on. Thumbnail opportunity. Thumb thumbnail. But yeah, this could be used for some good thumbnail opportunity. Kaba's arms are. All oh right, stretchy arms by the way. Stretchy arms. And they move closer each second. <laughs> stretchy arms. I was I was kind of fascinated when I learned that Namekians could do this. Like. Learn that like when you grab them, they literally just stretch their entire arm out and yeet the hell out of you. Alright. But keep that in mind. Look at his health when I do the grab. If I was like a normal CPU or say a male margin, not not like not max stamina, but like say half stamina. I honestly don't know because I didn't really use male modules that much when I was younger. Or at all really. Who would body change a male margin? That's just torture. Alright. Do that as you see. We lost like, uh, I'd say it's like about 1,000 health. That's if you're like a basic character and or just a basic male Majin. Now then, I'm like, all right, actually let's change this up. Hit him with this. Since I'm not locked onto him, only the first hit will register. All right, so look, the Super Soldier is activated, which is called this heat, I have to match it. His grab makes, now, all right. Let's think of this right. I'll do the triangle combo. Nice little just quick triangle. Got him down to right near the F part, like near his name, to right down to his first bar of key, I'd say. Yeah, right down to his like like half of his first bar of key. Now then, if I hit him with the first, hit him with the quick ultimate, just do that. He, all right, now let's do the triangle humble again. The super soul, this heat, I have to match it. <coughs> As you see, it, it like hits right, like just about, what the hell am I doing? Like just right where the first bar of key is, as you see. It stops like at the tip part. He takes, uh, the Super Soul reduces damage by medium, which we can also say this is like a Mel Majin. Mel Majins take less damage the more stamina that they have. Now, if I do my grab, this is, so look at it like this. This grab right here does like 1000 damage. That's if a Mel Majin says has max health. Imagine my Scarlet Rose of the Mel Majin. He has max max health and max stamina. But then, let's do Scarlet Rose's grab. This is a male Majin with no, like, with a stamina broke. Like, they'll take that much damage. If their stamina is broken, I have Zudoya, if you're wondering why my grab is so much damage. This build is supposed to be just health, stamina, and melee attack. The thing is, because if you mix this up right here, so we have to, like, it's like a five-piece process, really. Do this. Do this, then do this. Also, right, excellent full course. Let's talk about that. The excellent full course glitch. <coughs> Doing, so, let's do Tree of Might Fruit, seeing how it doesn't last very long. All right, uh, let's count. Just, you, you start counting, really. I already, I already, I already failed. While you do that, 
you know, let's just wait. We'll just we'll just wait. We'll just sit here. I I think true my fruit like lasts around probably twenty twenty seconds. That sounds like a good amount. I honestly don't know. I haven't really counted that long for it. All right, as you see, it's gone. It's gone now. Now then. Also, keep in mind, even if I mix up meditation, like if I do meditation first, then Tree of Might Fruit, the time limit for Tree of Might Fruit will only stand. So if I do meditation first, sure I have Tree of Might Fruit there, but the meditation first is going to register me as saying, I just did a, um, uh, like, all right, imagine this, meditation. I have one second on meditation, then I eat Tree of Might Fruit. It would give me the time limit that I had for Tree of Might Fruit, not the actual time limit for meditation. I've counted, meditation lasts 72 seconds, but uh, Tree of Might Fruit is probably like around uh, 10, 15, 20 seconds. But now, as you see, I've used Excellent Full Course with both of my buffs, and remember, I had Tree of Might Fruit used first, well, used second. There, so I have the time limit for Tree of Might Fruit. All right, and as you see, I'll rock around for a little bit while I play the Vegeta theme from Fighters. As you can see here, there is no, like there's not a time limit. That's because Excellent Full Course makes any buff move that you have last the entire game. I'm not talking about no until you defeat the opponent. If you're in a 3v3, it'll make it last the entire game. The full game. If I have a 15 minute game, my thing's lasting 15 minutes. If I have an hour game, it's lasting an hour. Because the Excellent Full Course glitch makes all your buffs like Tree of Might Fruit, Fighting Poses, and just like just like say those type things fighting poses and tree of might fruit everything except for fighting sun because fighting sun makes you not be able to use any other abilities except for melee attacks like punching and stuff but yes the reason why i have this build is because for say people who use uh super armor time control which gives me look if i do if i hold it down I make rounds around him. Made like three rounds. If I do it once, I can make like two rounds. Finishing blow just to link up and then do that, or just do this and then really just like a quick follow-up. Because all right, finishing blow. Actually, let's talk about the tip for that. If you use the move like as oh, if you use the move as you see, like you're stuck here for like a little bit longer. The way to cancel this out is by pressing the block button. As you see, I can like press block and immediately get knocked out of the move. Cause like look, if I don't do block. Like, let's just say, boom, that, boom, bang. Like, it just keep, it leaves me like that for, like, a couple seconds, and then I can start punching. Press block to cancel this out, then you can just do that, as you see. But the reason why I have it on this build is because this. Now, that's a lot of damage. Seeing how my Super Soul mixed up with the Tree of Might Fruit and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution makes the grab do 4,503, no, 4,509 damage. Yeah, 4,509 damage. Seeing how mixing up with Blue Evolution plus that is so strong. So I could just do one, two. Mm. And let alone how his basic square combo this is not the square combo. This is the square into three triangle. <clears throat> How's basics? All right, let's talk about something else. Actually, mm. uh, actually, no. We need a different character for that. Uh, look at it like this. This is the entire square combo for Saiyans. Also, look at as you see, my fighting po my, my thing is still lasting. All right. Let's do the square triangle combo. I, since the Super Soul is like giving him a like a defense buff, like he takes less damage. Also, this move does not hit. Like if you're going down, like if I hit you with like a sledgehammer into finishing blow, like watch this is a heavy hit, heavy like heavy knockdown. I can't link up into that. But if it's like say get up, wrong thing. If I do, if I just knock him away, like do that. And then he starts falling. I can link up because it, it's a slow fall compared to the literal 
slam of judgment, I'd say. I don't know. This move is fast. It's Whis's move. Let's you, like, link up into moves pretty well. Let's see if the Mekans have the, um, the, um, the grab after a vanish. Yeah, as you see, they don't. So that's like a 21 exclusive. So we shut up the Exxon full course glitch. Alright, what else could we do? Since this, since this priest that literally has nothing that's key based, unless you... I'm, when I last tried... What's it called? Um... Uh, what should we call it? A fake blast is registered as a strike. Reg, key, fake blast is registered as like a strike attack. Like, so like, sure the move says it's key based, but like, it's actually like registered as like a melee move, like a melee hit. All right, let's do that. All right, let's just make sure that I have no key. Lee, 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 lee. Endless shoot. Now you, now you can actually dr like drain key into it to make it an actual endless shoot. All right, the best way I can show this off is like this. As you see, the move is not giving, it's not giving me any key. Base, all right, so drain field right here, this move that no one uses, well, mostly no one, I use it. Any key-based move, no matter what the key-based move is, I'm absorbing this. So think of it like another, uh, another wave spirit boost. Let's show it off. What preset do I, uh, that has like big, big, all right. So we'll do with it. So first off, before we even start, it does not work on explosion type attacks. Like, like, like angry explosion, super key explosion, final explosion doesn't work on nothing like that. Uh, where is, let's get Goku spirit bomb. Yeah, this preset. So this move right here is actually, I'd say, the number one move, besides a counter, if you have no stamina, and if someone is using a key blast on you, if someone like say shooting, any any type of key blast can, even divine retribution, even though it's registered as a strike attack, the first like the if you do the first input, it puts up like it it, it shoots out like a quick flash, like just a quick quick and deadly key blast, I'd say. So let's just do this, waste all the key. Waste all my key, waste every last bit of this juicy bad boy. Hello, Ed boy. Hello, Ed boy. All right, as you see, this Goku has a good amount of key. If I pull this up, gives me one bar. He gave me one bar only because the move was like a quick tap. Now, if I fully charge it, oh uh, crap, hold on. This move is very. Oh yeah, also if you lock off, you can get key from it. Let's just shoot some key. Shoot some key blast at him. Get the get the damn bar. Alright, if I charge this up. Alright, I guess only coming I guess coming in hall only gives him one bar of key no matter what. Yeah. But alright, let's change that up. So also, you do, it does not take any key to use this move, so that's very like helpful if you're running low. First move he first ultimate he has is Super Kamehameha. Delicious. It's bas This move is literally just like Spirit Boost. It absorbs any key blast that you use, and now that Goku has no key. If I do it right here, I'm sucking up that move. I'm sucking up your key. Do it again, right here. I'm sucking up the move. Like, sure, I may get hit by the beginning hit, but the entire move is evaporated. It's delicious. Hell, if I do it like this, I think it also works. Yeah, as you see, it still works. Now, let's do it with a bigger move. The reason why I picked this Goku is because he has Spirit Bomb, and he's the only preset of Goku that does have Spirit Bomb. Do this. Delicious. You can swallow the energy. The spirit bomb. Also, snap step vanishing. Oh, 
Oh yeah, now the spirit bomb also sucks you in by the way now. So try to get out of that, you cheaters. Let's do this version. Just spam spam this move. <laughs> 